Hi, uh, what I'm going to try to do here is give you a little introduction to the IPAC. This model is the 3950. How to use it, how to use at least the basic parts of it. Uh, this, when you first turn it on, is called the, the, the Today Screen. Uh, it has uh, some information you can probably see there. It uh, usually has the date. Uh, here is a place for the calendar. This is for some messages. This is to set up tasks. You have a stylus with the iPad, and you use the stylus to tap on the screen. We have the start, this is the menu. I'm going to click on the start menu, and you can see you have a number of choices here. You have Active Sync, <coughs> which is the program you use to communicate with your desktop computer, Calendar Contacts, Inbox, Internet Explorer. Nevo, which is a remote control program, you can set up your iPad to function as a remote control. Notes, Tasks, Windows Media, and then you have two other settings, Programs and Settings. Uh, let's take a look at the settings. Now, you notice you have three tabs across the bottom. Uh, each one of those shows you a different screen. On this screen, you can set up various things. Uh, usually, this is not a screen that's used a whole lot, but then the next one is called System, and it is used quite a bit. Uh, in particular, I want to show you this icon for power. This shows you uh, the state of the battery, what, how much power you have left. Now you noticed I tapped on that, now I want to get rid of it, so I'm going to tap OK to get rid of it. Uh, another one people like to look at is memory. With the iPad, you have 64 megabytes of RAM and you can adjust the amount of memory that is used either to store your programs or to run your pro uh, run your programs so by moving the slider you can actually adjust that amount um, okay and uh, then we have a uh, lots of other icons uh, clock for example uh, we can set the date and time here with the, the clock, you can actually grab the uh, hands and move them around, or you can use these uh, keys here to increase or decrease the time and also the date. Uh, for here, example, I'm going to move the date up some. Then when we're done, we press OK. It's asking me, do I want to save uh, the changes? Uh, tell it yes. Um, let's see, uh, this is another one you should be familiar with, Remove Programs. If I had any programs installed, it would list them here, and it would give me an opportunity to click on them and then click down here where it says Remove. That's how we can remove programs we no, wanna, no longer want to have installed. Another important screen is this one, this is Connections. This is more concerned with setting up an internet connection, uh, setting up a Wi-Fi connection using network cards, and we will come back to that at a later time. Uh, just to show you briefly, um, <coughs> the uh, we'll take a look here at the calendar. You can have different views. You notice the screen across the bottom. You can click on these and it's going to show you the calendar in different views. This, of course, here being a, a month view. We'll close that out. Uh, move over here to the next one, our inbox. Uh, this is uh, inbox. We could set up our email here and use the iPad to send and receive email. Uh, next, we have <coughs> the uh, Internet Explorer. Now, of course, you would need an internet connection to be able to use this, but you may notice here, here is the address bar where you would type in an address uh, to go to on the internet. Now, while we're talking about that, let me point out something else here. See this little picture down here in the corner? There's a little picture of a keyboard. And when I tap on that, you can see a keyboard comes up, and I can tap on these individual letters and that would fill in uh, whatever work I'm trying to do. For example, if I came up here, tapped here, and said clear, it removes all that and then I can tap on these letters to uh, fill in a new internet address. The keyboard will go away if I tap on it again. So, I can tap once to bring it up, 
tap again to take it down. Also, I can change the method of input by clicking on this arrow here. <laughs> now there is also, aside from the keyboard, you can use handwriting, you can use the letter, a letter recognizer, you can use transcriber, or block recognizer. These are all methods of handwriting input, and we'll come back to those at a later time. So now I'm going to X out of this. I'm going to click on the X, going back again here. Uh, we will, I will just briefly show you this Nevo program. This allows you to set up <coughs> your iPad to use as a remote control. I uh, don't want to get into it too much, but as in most uh, programs on Pocket PCs, I can tap on something. And here it says Add Device. I tap on it, and you can see it brings up a procedure to start adding, uh, you know, television sets, DVD players, whatever. Okay, uh, TAS gives you an opportunity to set up a to-do to -do list. Um, next we have Windows Media Player. I do not like Windows Media Player, and I put a different program on the machines I sell. Uh, but you can use Windows Media Player to play music, you can play videos, uh, so forth and so on. Alright, uh, then we have our programs choice and have a lot of programs here. We'll go over uh, at a later time. And we've already taken a look at settings. Now I do want to point one thing out on settings. Uh, we've been looking at the menu. You can change what's listed on the menu by tapping on the menu icon and you can see here a list of what was on our menu, what is on our in menu, and we could, for example, uncheck Active Sync and we could check Games. And then I could go over here and click OK and X out of this. And then when I tap on our Start icon, uh, you can notice that here's a new entry. There's games where it was not listed before. So that is how you can uh, change your menu setting. Um, that is the basics for the uh, IPAC 3950 and I hope it has helped you to some degree.